All right, back on the subject of love again and left off on the last one, how love grows, okay? I remember Brother Hagen talking about um, Miss Aretha. He goes, he goes, I felt like I loved, you know, he loved her. He goes, I felt like I loved her when they got married. He goes, after so many years, I think at least 50 years of marriage, he goes, I didn't love her at all. Hardly loved her at all. I love her more now than I ever did then. And if you've been in a relationship long enough with your spouse, you understand that love grows. Okay. I don't think that you can have a good relationship. I mean, your relationship, excuse me, with your spouse um, isn't solidified. I mean, <laughs> 10 years, okay? Let's try that. Uh, it's a walk of faith. And um, it's important that, you know, we stick with it, okay? And that's what love does. Love, love really does. It sticks with it. And, you know, in, in every marriage that falls, somebody has stepped out of love. First of all, love is a choice. It's not just a warm feeling, fuzzy, warm feeling. That's the first thing we need to understand. It's because those warm feelings, you don't have them. You can probably go weeks without having a warm feeling, but you choose to love that person, okay? So love is, it grows. It grows naturally. It grows, it, I believe it even grows spiritually too. Um, especially with people. <laughs> you choose to love them. And on that subject, let me say this. Um, this popped up. Is that love, the difference between, I think this is a big haiku for you, okay? If you want to see how love is, look at your children. How do you feel? How do you love your children? Your child may do something that's just unruly, and you're still going to love them. Why? Because you have a relationship with them, and they're your children. Now, if someone else's child does the same thing, you may sit back and gasp. <sighs> can't believe they did that well that's because you you react that way is because you don't love them like you love your child okay you react different to people you love and that's that's just the way it is okay well, God's love's unconditional. Yeah, it's unconditional. There are conditions, though, to his promise. <laughs> I'll get off on that. But love is a growing process. Let me jump back to that. You love your spouse one way. You love them more another way. You love them more, you know, excuse me. You love them more four or five years, you love them more, five or six years. It is a growing process. There are things that, I hate to say this, but there are things, uh, love conquers all. Love oversees things, right? Love will um, cover a multitude of sin. That's what I'm trying to say. Instead of oversee things, it covers a multitude of sin. There are things that naturally that my wife do, does that I don't like. You know, someone else may do them. I'm just like, uh, don't, I'm not putting up with that. But with my wife, I look at them and she may do it. And I'm like, I love her. And I'm going to cover myself. Let me say that. I'm not going to let that come between my, my relationship with my wife. I'm not going to let it put a wedge between us because why I love her. I'm, I don't just love her. I'm in love with her. And I think it's important. We use love with our spouse as a reflection of God's love for us. Okay. Because let's be honest, love, I mean, the, 
relationship between a man and a woman is the closest thing to deity that we have on this earth. It's not a minister, a man in the pulpit. It's nothing like that. The relationship between a man and a woman, I have to say that because I'll get to it here in a second. But the relationship between a man and a woman is the closest thing to deity we have on the planet. Why? Because God said, let us make man in our image. So he made a man in his image. Now, you can only make another man. God gave man and woman. Let me excuse me. That man and woman to come together and make someone in their image. Okay. So, and he imparted that relationship, that bondage between them, you know, you know, and then he put it, there's a bonding that goes there. It's a covenant is what it boils down to, but there is a covenant that comes together and the two shall become what one, what they become. Um, I hate to say, I don't want to say godlike, but they, they become the image of God, man and woman. So, a lot of people need to understand that God is neither male nor female. He's spiritual, first of all. He has no need to be male or female because male or female, you know, those are reproductive rights. God has no reason to be reproductive physically because he is a creator. He creates. If he wants a man, he will create a man, okay? End of that subject. But love is demonstrated in the relationship between a husband and a wife. And like I said, you may love you you can you are in love with your spouse when you get married. But see that love grows. You have children. You go through all these these difficulties, these accomplishments you go through all these different things and you have this great wonderful relationship with this person and your love grows and here i am at seven minutes again <laughs> but love i'm just I haven't even got off the point of growth okay <laughs> but love grows okay so your love grows and your knowledge of God's love grows. Okay? And I'm going to get into that in the next one. Hopefully I will. I won't get off on this, this <laughs> rapid trails again. I'm shooting by the hips on this one. I, my notes are down here. But I'm, I'm going to let you know I'm going to shoot by the hips on, the, on this for a little while. But look, you guys be encouraged. Be blessed and have a great day.